Yeah, I mean, we did our part and, um, you know, battled to the end here and found a way to, to win the game. But obviously, a bittersweet when um, it ends up really not meaning much because Philly took care of business. But it's one of those things where we put ourselves um, in this position. You know, we didn't we didn't play well on the stretch. I didn't play well on the stretch. It's just um, it's tough, you know, and. Uh, we don't really have anybody else to blame but ourselves. You know, we just didn't didn't get the job done, didn't do what we had to do um, throughout the year, and and really just the second half to, to put us in a position to, you know, be in the playoffs and, and win games consistently. You just got off to that fifty game hot start. What was, what was missing that made it that you couldn't replicate that? The other hundred and ten games. You know, it's fifty games is a is a good start, but. Uh, you know, that's why being a playoff team is so hard because you have to do it wire to wire. You have to play well. And there's going to be hot streaks and cold streaks. And, um, you know, you have to be able to, to weather those and try and, you know, lessen those those cold streaks. And I think what we did really well, you know, the past few years here is we were able to run out extended win streaks, you know, and, and create momentum do things to where we could really just like build on it and for whatever reason it just it didn't work out you know that way this year we just couldn't we couldn't do it consistently and uh, we had a lot of tough losses and they're all different kinds of losses and uh, you know those will add up over time and uh, kind of ended up costing us this year. Do you mention the tough losses when you have those types of Kind of difficult last late inning losses. Do they kind of have carryover effect because they're like an emotional toll when you had a few of those that you did the last couple of weeks? Um, I don't know if there's an emotional carryover. I mean, obviously, after the game, it sucks and you feel it that way, but the next day, you know, you come in and it's a new day. You have to win it. We have to win another game. Um, you match up, it's a, it's a fresh slate. Um, you know, there's obviously some losses hurt more than others for sure. And, um, but you have those over the course of the season. Like those are going to happen. You know, it's going to happen when you go into spring training. It's just you try and minimize them and, and, and hopefully have them be um, rare occurrences. And, you know, it just didn't work out for this team this year. Greg said it felt like, you know, the story of the season was kind of, you know, one step forward, one step back. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Of, yeah, you know, pretty much. It's just, on? yeah, not really being able to to build on it and you know personally for me i feel like each one of those playoff teams we've had kind of had a an identity and a, and a way to win like we knew our formula to win the game um meaning like just like offensively defensively pitching wise we kind of knew what we needed to do to win and it's different every year we had a different formula every year but for whatever reason it kind of just felt like we didn't really you know, have that this year. We were, we were obviously trying to win every game and, and play, but um, there wasn't just like that um, feeling of like, all right, we just do this or we get in this position, we're going to be all right. And it's hard to build momentum that way. And, um, you know, it makes you appreciate, it makes you appreciate those good years and how it's not automatic to be in the postseason every year and you need to do things well and you need to, you need to play well and you need a lot of good players to play well. And it's why it's a difficult thing. It's why it's celebrated. It's why teams pop champagne when they clinch a playoff berth because it's not one of those things that's guaranteed um, when you show up to spring training. And, you know, we did a good job over the last four years and we didn't do a good job this year. So um, I think we can learn a lot from this season. I've learned a lot about, you know, myself personally this year. It's been a, it's been a hard year for sure. But uh, you know, try and learn from it. You know, we still got a couple games left to play here, but eventually you'll get away from maybe in the off season and kind of analyze a little bit and think of where you could do better and how you're going to do better. And, um, you know, come back and try to do it over again with whatever group you have in a group every year. It's never the same. It's never the same group of guys. Um, I think everybody, uh, you know, try to do their best this year and it just didn't work out. And, you know, it wasn't from a lack of effort. It wasn't from a lack of caring or trying. Uh, sometimes it doesn't go your way, and, and for us this year, it just didn't go away. Christian, do you feel like you have a core here that you can run it back with next year, or are you expecting 
changes? Um, I don't know. I mean, we definitely have a we definitely have a bunch of guys that have been here for a little while, and um, you know, there's there's it's never the same group. You know, you know that, and who that's going to be, you don't really know. But um, it's just a different group every season. Whether that's one or two guys missing, or whether it's ten guys missing, you don't really know. Um, but it's going to be different, and you know, the, the story of this group and this season is we we came a little bit short. Um, you know, there's no telling where it'll be next year. Christian, how much of a part of this story is the guys who started the year with this team and didn't end the year with the team? I mean, obviously, that's going to be the easy story or the easy thing to point to. Um, you know, we've we've had to deal with those questions for the last two months, and you know, honestly, we'll never we'll never know. You know, we can speculate on it and say that um, it was the reason, but. You know, at the beginning, I think it was everyone talked openly about how it was a it was a shock shock to the room, um, it caught everybody by surprise, and that's the truth, right? But at the same time, we got we got guys back. We had guys that have been really successful major league players. We had a lot of successful major league players in our group, so um, I think it's a it's an easy way to it's an easy way out. You kind of point your finger and be like, well, that's the reason. If we if we didn't do that, then we'd be in the playoffs. But um, I really don't. I don't think that's true. I think the the guys that were left remaining in this room together, myself included, we just didn't do a good enough job. And we had opportunity. We had opportunity after opportunity, and you know we just couldn't capitalize. And it's a uh, it's a tough feeling. You know it's. Well, you know, and you go home. Like that's not how the season works. It's a, it's really a year-round thing because you play, you play in the season. Coaches, players, everybody puts in hours and hours and hours of work, right? Um, guys go in the off season, put in work, try to get better, prepare. Everybody puts in work in spring training, tries to get better, tries to prepare. And so, you know, when it doesn't work out and you put in all that work, it's obviously it's a really, it's a really tough feeling for, uh, for the room, everybody involved. And, it wasn't for a lack of effort. It wasn't for a lack of uh, a lack of trying. It's just one of those things where um, we just couldn't put it all together. Uh, it's a bummer for sure. Christian, you mentioned um, stuff that you learned about yourself this season. Is that something that you can share with us, so that you're in a position that we could talk about a little bit? Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe one day when um, a little bit farther down the road. It's just you know, I think you try and learn a lot about yourself as a as a player, both. You know, on and off the field, everybody deals with stuff on and off the field, um, and just one of those things where we're continuing to learn, trying to get better. Um, you know, personally for me, I didn't play as, as well as I would have liked this year, the year past. Um, I have to do better. I know I have to do better. Uh, you know, as a as an important part of this team, somebody that's been counted on, relied on in the past, like I, I have to do better. I know that. Uh, you know. It's, Finding ways to do so, and um, I think we have a lot of guys in this room that you know they continually want to improve. But um, yeah, maybe we can get into that some other time down the road. But uh, it's a lot to take in at the end of the season. You know, it's just personally, team-wise, um, successes and failures, what you can learn, um, and you try and imply that, right? Nobody in this room is happy that we didn't make the playoffs. I know fans aren't happy that we didn't make the playoffs. Like it's. It's a bummer, you know, and um, it takes a long time to, to develop a six six month season. And you fight every day, and um, you know this is the third to last day of the year. You know, we're in it the entire way until then. So, uh, just gotta collect your thoughts and regroup sometimes. And we'll be back. You know, we got a lot of talented players in this room, and um, you know, hopefully, we can make a run at next year.